and apparently I'm going over today's science file. And today's science file says, What would a space vacation be like? Well, okay, try this. You will need a basketball, a cup of water with food coloring, and a pool ladder. On Earth, sports balls are pulled down by gravity. But in space, there's no gravity! So if you had a sports ball, well, they just sort of float around. So instead, you'd have to play a sport kind of like water polo! Polo. No, no, not Marco Polo. Water polo! <laughs> on Earth, gravity and friction work together to keep your feet on the ground. You can open and close doors. But in space, you can't have push and pull doors. Instead, you have to have those super cool automatic sliding ones. Because if you pull on an object in space, see, you go towards the object. And if you push, well, you move away! On Earth, gravity keeps our food on our plates and our drinks in our cups. But in space, you can't use plate or cups because vacations anyway. Well, jump into your pool and take a closer look at this. Before astronauts head into space, they're trained for an environment that isn't like anything here on Earth. The closest they can get to an environment like space is in a 6.2 million gallon pool, what NASA calls its neutral buoyancy lab. In this lab, there's a model of the space station that's orbiting Earth. Although the astronauts are not really weightless underwater, being neutrally buoyant can give the simulation of working or vacationing in an environment like space. Because the environment in space is so different from here on Earth, we have to adapt things we use here on Earth for the weightless environment in space, such as doors, meals, sports, and even going to the bathroom. So now you know that NASA trains its astronauts in a giant pool for spacewalks. You know, jumping into your pool to have a simulated space vacation is why science is so cool. Whoa.